Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome for the first time. My name is Alyssa and today I'm just going to take you on a full walkthrough of my family's ranch house out here in Springville, California. It's in the foothills of the Sierra Nevadas and it's located on a citrus ranch and it has beautiful rolling hills and it's just uh, a really magical place that I love sharing with you guys and it's been a while. This is our first trip up here in about a year and a half and I thought it would be fun to just do a full walkthrough of the house. All right, you guys, so let's just start in the front. Here is my late grandparents' a ranch house out here at Rancho Monte Vista. Um, this is a great spot for family portraits. We would do one every year on these steps. So this is your um, front entryway. And again, um, it's a mid-century style ranch house and uh, it's just a pretty special place to hang out. So the entryway opens up on, into this step-down living room. And then what's so great about this room is it's just really wonderful to just chill. You can just sit here on the couch and it's very meditative. It's a great place to gather and talk with friends and family without any screens. So that if you notice, there's no television up here at the ranch. Uh, of course, we all bring devices. There is pretty good Wi-Fi, uh, so you can have access to that if you're staying here. And then just off the living room, it steps up into this dining room space, which is really nice uh, for formal formal gatherings or, you know, if you like to do a sit down. Oh, there I am. Hey, <laughs> if you like to do a sit down uh, dinner for um, the family. Right now we have it set for six, but it could comfortably fit eight because you can fit three. There is another dining space in the kitchen, which I'll show you after I take you through some of the bedrooms. The dining room steps off into this wraparound patio with uh, stunning views all the way around. Oh, here they come up the hill. It's gonna get loud. Sounds like uh, Raleigh's out there with Jesse right now. So I'll wait for them to come up and then, and then I'll continue. Looks like Raleigh got some grapefruit too. Fun. This space is great. I love this for just casual, um, a casual breakfast in the morning, or maybe um, you don't want to do a big sit down dinner. So you can just come on out here and enjoy the outdoors. Or if you want to set up a table, you could do like a really nice um, you know, outdoor dining experience. We actually did do Thanksgiving on the patio one year and it was really special. Of course, you do want to check the weather because it could rain or even snow at times in the winter. Um, you can see there's lots of snow up there, which is just stunning. There's a lot of snow this year right now. And um, there are cows. So if you're going to go hiking out here, uh, just be aware that um, there are cows. They're pretty mellow. Just uh, maybe stay calm and I wouldn't really like go near them or try to pet them. Um, they're not domestic, you know, they're cows. So, but you should be fine hiking out there. They'll probably avoid you. You should be good. Uh, there is a grill, which is great. Uh, my husband loves to grill, so you'll find him out here um, most of the time when it's, when it's meal time, doing his thing. Um, yeah, so this is the wraparound porch. Uh, there is a step down here, so if you have little kids, just really make an effort to keep this latched and be aware that there are uh, two flights, uh, kind of a flight and a half right here of stairs. So a really neat um, way to access this kind of garden area out in front. Um, there's a swing down there my kids love. That was actually my grandmother's swing, so it's pretty special. So that's the porch for you guys. There is gonna be a little ranch noise from time to time because there are dogs and four wheelers and all that fun stuff. Now that we've seen the main living room, I'm gonna take you guys back uh, to uh, the three bedrooms on the left side of the front entryway. There are also um, some sleeping options on uh, the right side here. I will take you down into the kitchen after this, but for now we're gonna head into the master bedroom so you guys can see that. I just wanna let you know also, uh, there are linens in this closet here if you need more blankets or sheets. And um, we also have more towels here for the bathrooms. You should have towels already set in the bathrooms, but should you need extra towels, um, you'll find them here in the hallway. And then of course there's more. So there's plenty of towels and linens should you need it. And then um, here is the master bedroom. 
This is a king bed, so maybe you're still co-sleeping with a kid or you like a lot of space. This is the biggest bed, um, and it's also the biggest room. It also has a private patio off the um, room here with some sitting chairs. And again, these amazing 360 views of the mountains, uh, Sierra Nevadas, and the Grove. And you can wave to everybody over there <laughs> if they happen to be sitting on that porch. And then here in the master bedroom, it does also have its own private bath. So you've got two sinks, you've got the double sinks, and then a separate room for your toilet and shower. It is a standing shower. And there's ample space also for um, you know, shelf space for any toiletries or, you know, towels. Um, there's lots of towel hooks. Uh, there's a shower head for anyone curious. And then there are some um, closet spaces too, should you need them. And then the other bedrooms on this side of the house, there's this really neat um, double twin room i love this room so much it's actually a room i stayed at a lot when i was a kid so a lot of fond memories and then the kids favorite spot is this toy closet so we just throw all the toys in here they've been well loved but you'll find something to play with um, whether it's old puzzles board games books um, and i'm thinking i might leave some more toys kind of replenish the toy closet so hopefully i'll do that i think my next visit will be april so hopefully this spring the toy closet will have some more stuff for everybody to use here is the bathroom that um, these two bedrooms share so it has um, the sink ample countertop space hi <laughs> and um, of course toilet this is actually where my grandfather had a bidet, but I guess they took that out. They thought, well, people don't really, I guess that was something they felt they didn't need, so that got removed. And there is a bathtub, which is great, especially if you have kids. Okay, so back here, there is a queen bed, and um, there is a dresser if you need it. And just remember to use coasters because all of these um, wood pieces will get damaged by water, rings, etc. So by liquid. So we do leave coasters around. If you could use those, that would be great. And off of here, if you're curious about the views, so this room opens up to the front side of the property. So and a lot of good bird watching through these windows too, you guys. If you're into birding, this is a great place for birding. Okay. Now that we've seen this side of the house, I'm gonna head down this hallway so you can see um, the rest of the house. Here off the front door, um, there's a utility closet, just got some cleaning supplies, uh, should somebody need that. Um, this door actually goes down into the garage, which has been converted into a game room, but I'm gonna take you there at the very end, so be sure to watch to the end because that's a really fun space. And then here we have our laundry room with washer dryer and then uh, just other th household things, a nice uh, space for folding your laundry. Got a sliding door. This is um, kind of a half, just a toilet here for the bathroom. And there is a utility sink, which really comes in handy. So you can use two sinks at once if someone's busy in the kitchen. And then here is the pantry for all your dry goods that you may need. Oh, just for safety, here's the fire hydrant. You just never know, you might need it. So my son just got back from the Grove. Say hi, Declan. Uh, hi. And, uh, hi, Declan. <laughs> and they were picking the Oro Blancos, which is our favorite grapefruit. Uh, and it happens to be in season. It's uh, January right now. So winter is a great time to pick citrus and to hike, which is what we've been doing. One of my favorite spaces is definitely this kitchen. Um, it's really spacious with this island in the middle and it's got gorgeous views off of the sink here. So if you're you know, uh, doing dishes or preparing a meal, you just have these stunning views um, of the mountains and the grove here. 
And then um, you've got a nice big fridge. So if you need to store, you know, perishables. And then a drawer here with all of uh, your freezer space. And there is this filtered water here too. The water is safe to drink. Uh, we are on well water. We have our own well, so that's nice. You can, uh, you don't need to bring bottled water. You can, of course, if you want to, but uh, we do have a microwave and this oven here. And then this is neat. This oven, I'm sorry, this stove top and then this oven. And what's great is we also have a convection oven. So you can do a traditional um, you know, oven and bake, you can broil, you can convec, and then um, pr a rapid preheat, which I've never used, so I'm not really familiar with that one, but I usually just bake because that's what I'm familiar with, but if you want to use it, it is also a convection oven. Uh, just so you know, if you are picking citrus, we do have a juicer here, and it works great. It looks like right now the top part is back there. But this juicer, it might be old fashioned, but it really works great. And there's nothing like fresh squeezed orange juice and grapefruit juice. So yummy, you guys. And then we've got this kitchen table. It's really neat. Also with these stunning 360 views and um, just a little desk. And uh, here is an additional uh, full bed. And then um, through here, this was originally my grandfather's office off the kitchen, but now we have um, two full beds, bunk beds. And um, then you also have your own exit into the patio here. It's locked right now. But um, so if you want maybe a little bit of private space to yourself, this is a great um, option for you. And of course you could probably uh, fit four people in here um, comfortably too if it's adults but if you have kids this is a great bunk room for the kiddos off the kitchen what's really nice is when we have a lot of kids um, staying here sometimes we'll put them in these kitchen rooms because in the morning when they're playing if we want to keep the back part of the house quiet you can slide these heavy doors here there's two of them one two and then you have uh, a space that's, you know, really, um, you can control the noise a bit. So we did that in our most recent trip. And then anyone that wants to sleep in can be on the other side of the house and isn't as disturbed by all the commotion, the morning hustle and bustle. Now that we've seen the whole house, I do want to take you guys into the former garage. It is now a game room. It's pretty cool. The kids love it. We love it too. Finally, the game room. Last but not least, you guys, this is actually a cowbell that my grandmother used to use when we were out on the ranch. This is how she'd call us all to meals because, you know, she couldn't uh, yell loud enough and that was before cell phones. So she'd ring the cowbell. All right, so. This is really neat. Now be aware, this door, if it's locked, you don't want to get locked in this hallway. So leave the door open if you're planning. There's also a light here. I forgot to turn it on. But anyway, so here is the game room. There's also another fridge and freezer. If you're doing like a big uh, gathering and you need extra space, uh, just know there is extra space down here. And um, then we have a pool table. You know, it is a little banged up, but it's fun if you like to play pool. And then uh, this is a new addition. There used to be air hockey, but now we have ping pong. So uh, my son is just loving the ping pong. And so that was a lot of fun for him to get to play a lot. And there's my grandfather picking citrus. For those of you that know me, this was a painting done by my brother Jonathan, who does all the graphics for our channel. So there is a depiction of my late grandfather uh, picking oranges in the grove. It was his passion, his hobby in retirement. Oh, and there he is um, doing track when he was younger. So, so there's still some fun, some fun uh, elements left behind from the past. So yeah, this is the game room. And what's pretty cool is you can open up the garage doors and have like, and we have really nice views off this game room. So it's really fun for the kids to gather in here and adults too. Um, and it's pretty soundproof. So you can make quite a bit of noise if someone else like needs to get to bed. This is a great space to come down if you're a night owl.
And then it also, there's another exit off of here. Um, so, and here's the trash cans. If you're looking for the recycling or the trash, it's here. We just ask when you, um, when you put your trash away, like this was done incorrectly, you really want to make sure they're snapped shut because you don't want animals like raccoons or, you know, anything like that to get into the trash can. So just make sure they're nice and secure before you leave. Thank you guys so much for watching this California Ranch House home tour. If you enjoyed this or if you found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. We really appreciate the support and we'll see you soon in Super Cali land. Bye. La 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 la